Welcome back to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is Monday of the second week of Advent, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Fallier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 5, verses 17 through 26. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son. But may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. One day as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law, who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, were sitting there. And the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence, but not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles in the middle of the front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, As for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and Pharisees began to ask themselves, Who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, What are you thinking in your hearts? Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven? Or to say, rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, rise, pick up your stretcher and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on, and went home glorifying God. Then astonishment seized them all, and they glorified God. And struck with awe, they said, We have seen incredible things today. The Gospel of the Lord. Through the words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. Today's Gospel reading according to St. Luke is an example of the promise found in today's first reading from Isaiah, and it was being realized. It is Luke's version of the healing of a paralyzed man who can only reach Jesus by being lowered through the house's roof. The efforts that the sick man's friends make to get him to Jesus indicate their tremendous faith and confidence in Jesus. However, the man may have been somewhat surprised to hear the words of Jesus. My friend, your sins are forgiven. That was not what he came for. He had hoped something could be done about his paralysis. But the Pharisees and scribes present were even more shocked. Who is this who speaks blasphemies, they said. Who but God alone? can forgive sins, they believed. Of course, they were perfectly right, but they did not put two and two together and identified the presence of God in Jesus. So Jesus asks them, which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven or rise up and walk? Naturally, the first is easier to say. But to show that Jesus has the authority really to forgive sin, he says to the paralyzed man, I say to you, rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. Immediately the man stands up before them all, picks up his mat, and goes home. To understand what is happening here, we must realize the perceived close relationship in those days between sin and sickness. 
Sickness, especially something chronic like paralysis or blindness, was often presumed to be the result or punishment for sin. So if Jesus can totally remove the sickness, it must mean the sin that caused it has gone too. Jesus can forgive sin. We may not express things quite the same way nowadays, but there was a lot of truth in the belief that there was a relationship between sickness and behavior. A large proportion of people are sick and even in hospital because their bodies are revealing symptoms of disease, which has its roots in their hearts, minds, and feelings. The healing power of Jesus, which we all need, must extend to every part of our being, body, mind, heart, and in our relationships with each other. There are intimations in this story of resurrection, of new life. When the man now stands up, something he could not do before, and now able to walk, he goes home. That is, he goes to the place where he belongs. We too need the healing of Christ, which removes the things that paralyze or handicap us from following him. We need to stand anew in the life that he gives us and then find our way to our true home, which is to be with him. Something to ponder. As usual, after our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage again, contemplate its message, and concentrate on a thought that comes to you through the Holy Spirit, either through a verse or even just a small word that touches you. And then ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you, how you may spiritually grow closer to our brother Jesus in friendship, something our Heavenly Father deeply desires. Let us complete a divine reading with a closing prayer. Let us pray. Governed by your Holy Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those who contemplate and embrace your divine word, that professing you not just in words, but also in works and in spirit and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, please click the like button. And if you haven't already done so, please ring the bell by clicking on the subscribe all button and help support our channel. And share these links with others. Pass them along to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all. Have a great day. And join us again tomorrow for another Lexio Divina, a divine reading of God's sacred word.